what is compound interest? Compound interest is when interest is calculated both on the initial principal or the money you put in from the start and the accumulated interest from previous periods. This means your money, if you don't withdraw it, will make more money for you over time. This is powerful because it means you will make more money every time your interest accrues. There's a formula for this, but you can also use any of the free calculators available online to figure out your final amount. Just search free compound interest calculator and you'll have plenty to choose from. Exactly how powerful is compound interest? Let's look at an example. To figure out how much money your money will make over time, you need to know three things, your principal, the interest rate, and the compound frequency. What is the compound frequency? This is the number of times the interest is calculated. We'll talk more about the impact of compound frequency later. For now, let's look at a simple example. Let's say that you have $1,000 to invest. You put it into a high yield savings account, which has a 4% annual interest rate compounded monthly. How much will you have after one year? After one year, you will have $1,040.74. Well, wait a second, shouldn't it be much more than that? $1,000 times 4% is 1,040. And aren't we multiplying the amount by the interest rate every time we compound? Not exactly. Interest rates are expressed in terms of the annual amount. So if you're offered a savings account, they'll tell you the APY or annual percentage yield. The actual amount used whenever the account is compounded will be a fraction of that APY. Let's get back to the example. If we put $1,000 into a high yield savings account, after one year, we'll have an additional $40.74. That might not seem like much, but the power of compounding comes when you let your money sit. How much will you have after 10, 20, 30 years? After 10 years, you have $1,490.83. After 20, $2,222.58. And after 30, your $1,000 will be $3,313.50. Obviously, these amounts aren't going to make you rich. We'll explain how to make your money grow faster soon but you can see how compound interest works best over time and how it puts your money to work for you. That $1,000 will continue to grow and you will not have to do anything but watch it increase. The longer you wait, the more you can make. Patience is a virtue when it comes to compounding interest. Let's see what happens if in year 15, we withdraw $50. After 15 years, we will have $1,820.30. Let's say we take out $100. Now our account has $1,720.30. How much will our account be 15 years later when we finish our 30 year term? $3,131.46. That's $182.04 less than the $3,313.50 we would have made if we let it sit without withdrawing anything. Removing only $100 made a $200 difference when we made our withdrawal. Of course, you do want to eventually use your money and you want as much of it as possible. So how do we use the power of compound interest to make the money stack higher, faster? There are four variables we can change to increase our gains with compound interest. The first one will be obvious, invest in a larger principal. The sooner you start and the more you start with, the more you will make. Let's see the difference if we invest $100 more in our previous example. So instead of starting with $1,000, we start with 1,100. How much will we have after one year? $1,144.82. That means we will have made $44.82, an additional $4 over a $1,000 principal investment alone. How much more will we make after 10, 20, or 30 years? In 10 years, you'll have $1,639.92, which means you'll have made $49.09 .09 in additional interest. In 20 years, you'll have $2,444.84, which is $122.26 in additional interest. In 30 years, you'll have $3,644.85, which is $231.35 in additional interest. $200 of additional profit just from $100 of additional investment. Of course, if you can invest in a larger principal, great, but that's not always an option. Often, the amount of money you have on hand at the moment is pretty fixed. Let's start looking at the ways we can really make our money grow. Similar to a larger principal, but easier to do, are regular deposits into the compounding account. Many people choose to do this because it greatly increases the growth of the accounts over time. What if, in addition to putting in $1,000 as our principal, we also put in $100 a month? How would that change our results over time? Keeping everything else the same and adding monthly deposits, at the end of one year, our account would now have $2,262.99. That's $22.25 in additional interest compared to if we just let our initial $1,000 sit by itself. 
what would the change be over a 10 year period? In 10 years, you will have $16,215.81. That's a huge difference from the amount we'll have without deposits, $1,490.83. By depositing $100 a month, we'll not only have saved much more at the end of our 10-year term, but we'll have earned $2,724.98 in additional interest. It's simple. If you put more money in, you'll get more money out. But what can we change so that we make more money, even if we can't change our principal or how much we deposit? The first thing to look at is your interest rate. We've been using a common amount for high-yield savings accounts, 4%. But there are compound interest investment opportunities that offer higher interest rates. Let's see the effect of just a 1% increase on our interest rate. We deposit $1,000 in an account with a 5% interest rate that compounds monthly. After one year, we will have $1,051.16. That's over $10 more than the 4% rate. In 10 years, we will have $1,647.01. That's over $150 more than the 4% rate. The lesson, shop around when deciding when to compound your money. Always keep in mind that higher rates often mean more risk, but it can be worth it. Carefully weigh the risk and reward when deciding where to put your money. Also in the real world, a higher interest rate does not always mean a higher end amount. How is that possible? Because of the fourth variable, compounding frequency. We've been talking about monthly compounding, but compounding can also be done annually or quarterly. More compounding is generally better because money will be added to your account more regularly. Let's take a look at the difference between compounding annually, quarterly, and monthly with a 4% APY. If you deposit $1,000 for a 10 year period compounded monthly, we found that you will have $1,490.83 at the end of the decade. If you compound quarterly instead, you will have $1,488.86. That's about a $2 difference. That might sound small, but consider that the difference will only get wider if you are making regular deposits or if the principal is larger than $1,000. If you compound annually, you will have $1,480.24 or a $10 difference. And that's with an APY that's supposedly the exact same. This is why you need to pay attention to both interest rates and compound frequency when selecting your compound interest vehicle. It is possible to have what looks like a higher interest rate payout less in the long run, although this is uncommon. Make sure you calculate your expected return yourself and you'll never be surprised. Now you know the ins and outs of how compound interest works on paper. In the real world, what are the best ways to use compound interest to grow your wealth? Where should you put your money? As you now know, when choosing a compound investment vehicle, you want something with a high interest rate, preferably with a higher compound frequency and the lowest possible risk. One safe option that will give you fairly good results over time is a high yield savings account. We've been using that term in our examples, but what is it? A high yield savings account is just like a normal savings account, except it has a much higher APY. These are usually only offered by online banks because they have fewer expenses to cover when administering savings accounts. These products are great because they are federally insured, just like normal savings. They offer 4% APY on average, but some banks will go as high as 7%. However, if a bank is offering more than 4% APY, read the fine print. There may be some hefty admin fees or other charges to accompany the high rate. Looking for more risk in exchange for potentially more reward? Then it's time to enter the stock market with a mutual fund. A mutual fund is a company that pulls money from many investors and invests the money in securities such as stocks, bonds, and short-term debt. This is a great option because it means your investments will be diversified and the risk will be spread out across the fund's shareholders. You'll see much higher rates for mutual funds. The average rate of return in 2021 was about 12%. In the short term, mutual funds are as risky as anything else that relies on the stock market. But when we're talking about long-term growth, they're a great option. When selecting a mutual fund, consider the expense ratio. This is the total fee the fund charges for their services compared to their returns. This can be as high as 3%, but the industry average is closer to 0.54%. If you are new to the power of compound interest, start with a high yield savings account. You can even keep your emergency fund here so it can work harder for you until you need it. Then when you have more room for risk, enter a mutual fund. Looking to diversify while taking advantage of the power of compound interest? Make your money pay you every month with dividend stocks. Learn how in this video.